a what up lazy here as always in this episode we're back on forza horizon 5 and we're here with this the newly added ruling sunshine and as soon as i seen this i knew i had to take it drifting so let's jump in and get this build started okay so for this build i've actually gone through and had a play with it already so for the engines i want to swap it out so we've got the 2j we've got the ls and we've got the turbo rally but i want to go with this the racing 7.2 liter v8 something a bit different i don't usually play around with it i'm definitely going to keep it rear wheel drive and i'm not going to boost it i'm just going to leave it na for the body kit i'm definitely going with this i'm pretty sure this is very similar to the ford focus rs kit that's already in the game all right, jumping into here, all we have to do is the wing, and I'm definitely not going for that. I like the stock one. All right, jumping into here. For the tie compound, I'm going to go up to street. Yep, right there. For the front tie width, I'm going to go with a 235. And for the rear, I'm going to max it out at a 295. Alright, for the rim sizes, we have a bunch of options, but honestly, I really like 17s on this. So, I'm going to put them in the front and in the rear. Yep, and for the rims, there's a set in here that I want to go with, and they are right here. The Work Reba S005s. They look really good on this. Alright, so jumping into the drivetrain, I'm definitely going to upgrade the clutch. I'm going to put in a race transmission because it will really be needed. Yep. I'm going to leave the stock drive shaft in it and I'm going to chuck in a drift diff. Nice. Alright, jumping into here. Definitely going to need a brake upgrade. Yep. And drift suspension as always. That actually looks pretty good. Alright, we'll go through and we'll put on the sway bars in the front and in the rear i'm definitely going no cage and i'll chuck the weight reduction on now i'm not going to run any power mods in the engine i'm going to leave it here at 850 horsepower 640 foot pounds at 2600 pounds with a 59 percent weight biased yeah i can make that work awesome so there is the build done the paint is done don't forget to like comment share subscribe all that awesome stuff it's much appreciated cheers now let's drop in a tune Okay, so for the tune, I'm going to leave the tire pressures where they are. They're actually really good. For the gearing, though, wait for it. Yeah, for the gearing, I'm going to bring the final drive down to a 250. Yep, just keep pulling that all the way back. These are going to be some really long gears, but it really needs it. All right, for first, I'm going to bring this back to a 336. Yep, right there. For second, I'm going to go with a 233. Uh, yep, right there. For third, I'm going to go with a 1.58. For fourth, I'm going to go with a 1.18. Yep, and fifth and sixth, I'm going to leave alone. Alright, so for the alignment, I'm going 3.5 negative in the front and two and a half negative in the rear and there's the camber done and point two toe out in the rear all the rest of the suspension is fine if you want to download this tune the share code is at the bottom of the screen i'm going to leave the aero alone i don't want to play around with that for the brakes i want to go with my usual 30 140 yep right there and for the diff i'm going to go ahead and lock it bring it up to 100 and the acceleration is fine Awesome, so there's the tune done. Now let's jump out and give this thing a rip and see how it goes.
awesome. So there we go, 1.12 mil. I'm actually really surprised by that, but in this configuration, it is really slow, so it gives you a lot of time to plan your transitions and where you really want to put the car on the road. But overall, I'm I'm super stoked about this. We need more vehicles like this in the game. But that's it for the video for today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Laters.